I always felt that Jin was just, even from Tekken Tag, I felt that he was just, he went underneath the radar. People just didn't, they slept on him. But now he is the beast that we have yes. nowadays. All right, back to Julia. You know, Chanel is sticking it to Julia the entire tournament so far, at least from what we've seen. But let's see how this uh, plays out here. France versus Korea again. Oh, that wasn't even countering. Just hit him out of the air, yeah? Yeah. Tried to go for that running free from Horang. Now I feel that Alpha may need to just settle into this match a little bit. You know, to, you know, for, Horang's a very hard character to play. That like, very mixed up heavy. You just need to get that flow. And seven golden letters at the beginning is not, not the best way to get that flow. Yeah. And I'll agree with you. You know, it's really nice to see Horang being able to, you know, Penetrate an opponent's defense and just be able to go in. His flow is probably one of the most beautiful things I'd say in Tekken. Like just seeing someone rush down someone with Wara is, is, is a sight to behold. Yes, I definitely agree. He does have that rage. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, oh, just I frame think... to the skies. Oh, this is going to hurt. Oh, this is going to hurt. Right, this is going to be big time. He's going to be one mix up away. All right, here we go. Pushing towards the wall. Let's see what happens. What are you going to do? Oh, nice. Don't down. roll that way. Yeah, down back four will catch you. I got coverage. Don't roll that way. Mm -hmm. So Alpha just bringing it back one just frame Sky Rocket. Yeah. Nice low power. Now, like I said, it feels like he's feeling himself now. He's in his groove. He's got that confidence. I was saying that before. And well, not just that. The crowd is starting to wake up now, yeah. too. Here we go. Alpha with the stomp now has at the wall. Okay, he's playing a bit patient. He does have the life. He doesn't need to go in as much. Oh, oh. no. That's a great option there from Chanel. Good presence of mind. Still does have that life. And that's going to be. Oh, that was a launch. Yeah, he could have got up the upward three, maybe. What's what happening? There's. Oh, no, didn't duck. Oh, oh, man. And that was just watching it happen, right? I think that's one of the things he knew that he should have launched it. And it just kind of played on his mind. Yeah, can't dwell on it. Uh oh. Box step mix up. It's paying out spacing. Just flying on in there. Okay, and nice. I like that. You know, Chanel is creating uh, no opportunities for him to get his offensive flow started. He's always throwing buttons out. But that could get him killed, too. Yes. Definitely. So that skyrocket just changed the game, changed the momentum. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for quarter circle forward, too, nice. quite a bit. He should be able to close it out. There it is. Final round here, match number one. Yes. Man. Alpha probably finding his groove once again. And the French, they're, they're definitely bringing it in the matches today. Yeah. No, no duck there. Oh, here nice. we go. Perfect read. Is this going to go to the wall? Very Run. close to it. Yeah. Uh oh, and the right read on the spring kick. Oh, wow. Got Chanel alpha. Trapped. The alpha. Oh, gets the duck. Ooh. Here go, has the life lead though. Just one, he's going to take it, but Julia does have rage. Need to be very careful. And just the down four takes it. And he just saw there. You saw the emotion yeah, from him. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's like, yeah. But is Chanel going to switch characters? I don't know. He's been running Julia all day. He has been. Mm. But we know, we all know that Julia is not his best character. Oh, he, we are at the character select screen. Let's see how this works out. He's going to go straight. Okay, uh -oh. just straight. No, no. Old faithful, yeah. Out. The Elisa. old model. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Alpha playing really strong there. You can see he's the most. He's easy. in thought. He yeah. is definitely in thought right now. I don't know. See, that's the thing. Is is he more comfortable? Because I, I would say, you know, most people probably aren't as comfortable with Julia just because she's a newer character. Yeah. I have a feeling that he might be doing well in this matchup as well. We'll see, right? We'll see. If he's going to slow it down, it might work out in his favor. See how much experience he does have against Elisa. But I know he's definitely, a, he's been around quite a bit. He's definitely a strong player. All right, Alpha right now, again with the Just Frame Skyrocket, putting him on notice, letting him know. Don't sleep, don't flinch. Okay, no, no, punish. This actually kind of opens, opens it up quite a bit for Chanel, because Chanel obviously has a little bit more tools for whiff punish, especially in the open, that could get into combo and launch situations. Yeah. So his back against walls is very dangerous, does not want to get wall splat. Horang does humongous damage against that wall. He kicks hard. Yeah. And he does have that rage as well. He's to be very careful. Okay, here we go. Is this gonna, Flamingo's going to get started. Oh, oh my. Gosh. The lows are all hitting. Okay, Chanel being very patient. Oh, the second hit. Got to be careful. Still has that rage. He's to be very careful here. There's, there's only 10 seconds, but a big counter hit down three. Able to deliver. Chanel with the first round. That was huge. I mean, it could have gone either way at the end there. Yeah. He's just backing off Chanel with that life lead, using his chainsaws, guessing that homing move, that one plus two. Wow, what an approach. 
she gets those plus frames. Okay, good. Ooh. Ooh, nice. And Chanel, once again, even from the last match we saw, was not breaking the throws. Yeah. Could be something that maybe Alpha needs to pick up on. That goes to that low. And again! again. Maybe this, yeah. Oh, that was what a whiff punish there from Chanel. And that's gonna be the round. Oh, that was a huge, huge risk there, but a big reward for Chanel. Oh, and another counter hit. He's starting to hit things. Yeah, this is gonna go through. Oh no, what? it drops. No chainsaws. Doesn't matter, but he has a humongous life feed. Oh, just gets the side wall splat. Okay, nice block. Here we go. The Flamingo Mace does not want to take any of that. And just down back free to take it. Perfectly spaced as well. A, a very quiet but very concise broom there from Chanel. Three straight matches, or three straight rounds, I should say. Yeah. I feel like when Chanel made that duck on the um, Horang's 4 4 4, the kick, I mean, that just changed everything. That, that one moment there, I feel, just put the momentum back in Chanel's favor. Oh, yeah. But let's see what Alpha can do. You know, he's got time to think about this, sit down, regain composure, think about what happened during that last match. He did not play bad. It may have been a 3 0, but I do not feel that it was overrunning. Especially the first two rounds, you know, he had an opportunity. He just made a crucial error at the end. Yeah. Chanel was able to capitalize, so it could have gone either way. But this is where it matters now. This is the final match. There's no going out of this. I mean, unless they get a double KO, right? But let's not, <laughs> let's not do that to us. I mean, it's too early. I don't want to lose my no, voice, right? We don't need that. Don't need that drama. If that happens, oh man. Uh, oh man. You called it. You're going to jinx it? Nah, it's not going to happen. The <laughs> odds of that happening, come on, man. It's going to happen now, right? It's, it's going to happen. You're going to hear somebody yell. Mm. All right, here we go. And now, oh, that would have been big, but he was just out of range. A big counter hit as well. That was very unfortunate there. Gets the combo. Yeah, it's crazy because, you know, he had the right read. He yeah. knew what to do, but it was just out of range. So right. Chanel taking that really quickly. But like you said, just one unfortunate mistake could have gone a whole different way. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. You can't miss and you can't whiff offensively here because, again, Chanel waiting for these opportunities, but a nice wall rising three. Okay, here's the pressure. Now pushing him towards the wall. This is where Alpha wants to kind of keep Chanel against yeah. the wall with kind of restrict his movement, right? Yes, definitely. Okay, he's going to get a guaranteed follow up there. Okay, 1-1. Oh, a step. Yeah, that is plus. Ah, see, I think people don't know the chainsaws. Now, that mid is plus. Yeah, you, you gotta be careful. Arms, yeah. I don't I don't care what anyone says. If I see chainsaws, I'm not going near them. <laughs> Two rounds to Chanel. Continuing. This is might be a six round straight since yeah. switching to Elisa. It was like probably oh that's a bit unfortunate. Just a little bit too late with the back three. Yeah, and he hesitated after again with the chainsaws being out. Thought he was gonna transition to another move, but Alpha has to insert Oh no, other way. Should, um Elisa was a great side step in this game. Oh yeah, probably one of the best for yeah. game, sure. Okay, trying to get some offense started. Once I get close in to get that flamingo stance initiated, but it seems like he has, he's having trouble actually getting in to Chanel. Chanel's movement and just buttons. So he can't approach him, he's throwing out these buttons to catch the floats. Yeah, now in the red, this is gonna be his last shot here. One more hit could do it. And just the down four to take it. And Chanel staying alive here. Moving on in the winner's bracket, but they both qualify in the top 48. Just yeah. Chanel on the winner.